final part of Wednesday's Loose and Loud Loose Women. Now, our final guest has been in the business of show for over 60 years, but finally became a household name as the matriarch of the Fowler family in EastEnders at the age of 70. Playing Lou Beale, she drew on her own experience of growing up in London's East End to create TV's favourite battle acts. She's worked consistently since leaving the soap in 1988 on stage and screen, and at the age of 92, is still going strong. This week, taking on the hoodies in a special appearance on The Bill. Hello, May. Do you know the people at number 23? Oh, not so much know them as hear them. They're so noisy. I wanted to complain, but I, I was too scared. Do you know any of their names, mate? I've got names for them, but not named your lovely ears, you dear. Oh, there's never been so much suffering round here. It was where Gary Potter had his accident, wasn't it? His mum thinks different. You know, I suppose it's natural. To think like that when you lose your son. Holly Kendall of 22 Stanby House is in Longmarsh, serving a six year sentence for GBH. Well, who was the guy we saw on the alley then? I don't know. But right now, he's suspect number one. Well, victim number three. Well, whatever he is, we need to find him and fast. Yeah, the man you're holding it hold of is Max Peterson. He's the head of the housing round here. You know who that that was. Please welcome the wonderful Anna Wing. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, I'm very honoured to come oh. here. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you apparently you, you think of yourself as, a, as an honorary loose lady. A very loose. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am what is known as a woman of experience. Well, I don't think so. Of course. Like to hear it. 92, well, going strong. Of course. And looking out for a very nice young man. I oh, think. <laughs> Yeah, me too. They look all <laughs> bespoken, these people here. Yeah, they look very Anna, bespoken. I should think you've had more experience with men oh, in the yeah. last six years than our own Carol McGiffin has had. Where did it all start, Anna? Well, I don't, it was when I was very young. Well, not very young, because I wasn't seduced till I was 21. Oh. But I found a scientist and I went to him and said, Look, dear sir, I don't know anything about sex at all. So would you please, because you're a scientist, would you mind seducing me? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, oh, well, I don't know about that, you're a bit of responsibility. <laughs> but he did. Oh, yeah. 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 oh and it yeah, wasn't that like I thought it was going to be. A no. no. Oh, no. Was it no. a bit, bit disappointing? disappointing? I was, it was a little bit... <laughs> <laughs> Lab, was it? And, oh, no, 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 no. I asked him, you know, because I thought he'll know it perfectly. And I read <laughs> D.H. Lawrence, where everything's lovely and it's all strokey, strokey. <laughs> and then it's all that business, you know, I've had this, that, and the other, but I've never been to your. Oh! <laughs> 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 Yeah. But you like learn to love it, you know. Yeah, yeah. you learn to love it. Yeah. 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 It makes perfect. Of course, yeah. you, you think. Uh, my mother said when she got married, my darling mother, she said, her mum sent for her and she said to her, Now, my dear, you're going to get married and all you have to remember is submission. Oh, really? oh well, they're not like that now, no, are they, no, girl? No, no. Oh, do you no, 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 no. Do, do, do you believe in that, though? Do you think well, we're all a... gone wrong? You know, because those ladies... No, not really. I think we're... I think I, I've got five grandchildren, you know, so That's I have to be careful yeah. what I say. <laughs> but um, I think... Uh, we didn't know the ropes. That was the trouble, you see. I made horrendous mistakes, because I was very innocent. And, if they said, well, I like your body, I'd say, well, thank you very much. How about a bit of yeah, nookie? Yeah, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I like now, your style. You know, like but one. now they, they know everything, and it's kind of funny, mm. kind of strange, you know, it's different. And I have five lovely grandchildren, and I'm really, you don't know what to say to them. You just say, oh. I always say... I'm sure you'll do the right thing, mm. dear. Yeah. Yes. You know. yeah. And what's that? What age range are they, the grand? Well, they're from about 12. A gorgeous boy. Oh, oh, he's terrific. He's going to be a big star. He's so beautiful. He has my father's eyes, which were blue, blue, blue. And the other one goes up to about 22 and 23. So they're right in that... And they've got that... honours degrees in Latin and Greek. And they're oh, so right. clever. Yeah. Well, they're right in that sort of age yes. period that we were talking about where it seems that young people... 
and not to say all young no, people, no, no. some young people have gone off the rails a bit, especially oh, with yeah. these alcohol-related problems. Oh, that's terrible, yes. My mother was what is called a life abstainer. Ooh. And she... <laughs> I used to be taken when I was a little girl, and they used to say, in there, people drink beer. <laughs> and, I thought, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then my brothers, I had two... I was a baby of the family. We went off to Devon. They said, oh, we're all going to have a spot of cider now. And I was horrified. I said, but what about Mum and Dad? Mum's a life abstainer. She was what is called a white ribboner. They wore a white ribbon here to show they'd never touched drink. When she met my dad, staggering from the pub, she said, <laughs> Albert, I always said I'd never marry a man who touched a drop of drink. So poor old dad signed the pledge immediately. Oh, now, he never my... drank, did he not? Never he after that, and oh, I thought, no. what a waste. Oh. <laughs> and my, and my like... father said to me, enjoy yourself, my dear. But don't tell your mother. <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely. Have you enjoyed being on the on telly again, doing the bill? Is that I just... love everything connected with the theatre. Yeah. It's a, you see, I went to the theatre when I was eleven, and I saw Gilgood in Richard and Bordeaux. He, very young, gorgeous. I came home and said, "That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to act." Mm. My mother said, "I wish you're not doing anything <laughs> like that." So I was sent off to become a primary school teacher, and I'm very good at teaching little children how to read. And we were opposite, we were in White Hart Lane, opposite the Tottenham Hotspur football yeah. people. Wow. So we all fell in love with the Tottenham Hotspur people. Oh, dear. And I met him later on and was on the box with him. And I said, I'll do it. And at 21, I got a scholarship to the Croydon School of Acting, which was for one year. But it had no money, and I had to support my parents. By then, were very hard up and fall on hard times. So I had to give them a pound a week. So I found an unknown benefactor. Wow. Who said, I, I got a scholarship, but it had no extra money. They said, we have decided, having seen your work, an unknown person, Hampson. Really? You're going to take the scholarship, which carries, and we'll pay for your keep. 21 shillings a week, bed, breakfast and supper at the YMCA, YWCA, we, YWCA, sorry. It's the best YWCA money they ever spent, Anna. In Croydon. <laughs> and a pound a week for my mum and dad. Brilliant. And Good I girl. never knew who it was. Oh, oh, Anna, we could, have you on, we could have you on Loose Women every day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to join us today. <laughs> and on the bill tonight, Anna Wing. <laughs> Today, join us tomorrow at 12:30. We'll see you then.